said at one point this season, you went to him and kind of asked him, you know, what more did you need to do to get an opportunity? And there was a couple times where it seemed like you might be getting an opportunity and it didn't work out. Um, did you ever envision, you know, two games and twice in two games meet with the media and being a leading scorer? Uh, leading scorer, I don't know, but I, I, I certainly have had, you know, all the confidence in the world in myself. And, yeah, that meeting was – it was nothing like – hey, why am I not playing or anything like that? It was just, you know, I want to make sure I'm ready for whenever that opportunity does come. So I just wanted to make sure I was – they felt like I was doing everything I could to make sure physically, you know, mentally I was ready. And um, obviously it's exciting to be able to get some more minutes and play well and um, do it all while we're also winning games. Uh, that's, you know, what you dream of doing as a kid. So just another good step forward. Nate? Sam, what was your main takeaway from that conversation? Uh, just that, you know, I felt like JB reiterated the trust that, that the whole staff has in me and what I can do. And, you know, it's for me, and it's, it's always going to be a fight to show that I can do more than just shoot on both ends of the floor. And um, I think uh, they've under, understood that from, you know, the moment they signed me that there's – there's more to it, and especially on the defensive end, competing and staying in front of guys and being in the right spots and whatnot. And so, certainly came away with uh, uh, quite a bit of confidence. And that was right before I believe the Denver game. So I played quite a bit that game and played pretty well. So um, you know, I, JB's done a great job communicating and whatnot. So I feel like that was certainly positive. For us. I know this morning you're talking about being trying to be even keeled. You know, basically, um, after what, whatever outcome in the game is or your performance or whatever. But um, JB said tonight, you know, the NBA is about making dreams, and this is, you know, what it's about, mm -hmm. dreams coming true. Um, have you allowed yourself to get excited or think about, I mean, is, it, is this kind of you living your dream right now? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we all work work too hard to, to not enjoy moments like this, for sure. And... I've worked as hard as I could and, you know, felt like there were times where maybe this wasn't going to work out. And, you know, to be honest, in high, in high school, like, my my goal was to play Division One basketball. The, the NBA was never even in my sights. Like, I just didn't think that was going to happen because guys where I'm from usually don't. And um, just kept working and working and working. And, again, there's been ups and downs these last, you know, three and a half years since I've been out of college. And, um, you know, I grew up in Utah, so, you know, I was – huge jazz fan growing up so to be able to have a, a game like that against get them is even more special for sure Chris hey Sam what have you tried to emulate throughout the course of your career well there's a lot of guys you know the <clears throat> the usuals the Max Duncan Robinson you know Joe Harris JJ Redick uh, you know Steph Curry does such a good job of relocating off of passes and uh, his ability to just always be moving, you know, I obviously don't have nearly the handle and whatnot, but the ability to just keep moving uh, and the way that can open things up for yourself and for the offense, so that's something I've always watched and um, you know, but at the same time I try to be myself too and feel like I have different things that I can bring to the table, so uh, watching film and putting in the work has definitely helped. Being that you did grow up in Utah, was there Kyle Korver influence in there or anything along those lines? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, he was there. I remember when they first traded for him, and we were all really excited because they needed some shooting. Uh, but definitely he's, you know, taller, and that helps him for sure. But I know a lot of people say our shots look fairly similar. Uh, and that's a <laughs> – I'll take that for sure as a compliment. <laughs> And then you mentioned people from where you are from don't go on to play in the NBA. What do most of those people go on to do? Well, we got a lot of, you know, Utah's got a great, a great basketball history. Utah State, BYU, Utah, Weber State with Dame, obviously. But uh, high school guys from Utah, there hasn't, you know, I remember a guy telling me there had been, I think, five guys that played high school in Utah that had played five or more years in the NBA. And that was a few years ago. Frank Jackson, I think, got to five years. 
so it's you know there's not a super rich history and so it's you know I take that upon myself to represent my state and where I come from and hopefully we can just keep grinding and maybe get there so Sarah Todd does right news obviously being from Bountiful I don't want to make the assumption that you were a jazz fan growing up mm -hmm. but being a jazz fan growing up uh, I, I also assumed the number one dream would be like well if I could play for them is it a very close second to the point zone yeah <laughs> definitely uh, it's, it's a really fun game uh, they I know their record's not great but they they make things really tough on you. They, they they run so many different stuff, so many different things. Lowry and you know THT and Sexton can get downhill and they try and muck things up defensively. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 always different when I'm you know when we're playing them and I'm walking by their locker room and it says Utah Jazz and stuff and just you know how much I like them and but now it's it's a little different for sure. Yeah. Sam, you talked about playing. <coughs> Against Utah a little bit, Donovan's mentioned it, Jordan's mentioned it. Was that like your moment? You said that you didn't know that NBA wasn't really in your sights. Was that a moment where you like, I can make it to the NBA? Yeah, I think that was about the time where I felt like it was a possibility. Uh, I think that was going into my junior year of college when we played a couple times. And uh, we played with Don and George, and I feel like Royce O'Neal might have been there too. Uh, and it was fun playing with high high level guys and again I was starting to make some real strides as a player so uh, it's it's funny how that's been about six seven years ago now but it's kind of come full circle. And Craig's been the point guard for you guys in the second unit how important was he for you guys tonight and just having him as a point guard as a whole? Yeah Craig's been great he's just so so steady you know whether he's making shots or not he finds a way to get into the paint he's got what seven rebounds six assists zero turnovers for a rookie that's it's pretty special so uh, he's a guy that you know looks for me and uh, I'm appreciative of that definitely it's time for one more Spencer Spencer Davies Kansas Center when you're talking about those things that are not shooting that you want to show you mentioned defense there specifically a little bit but is, is there anything that you feel like you can do um, to help the team more than just shoot yeah I think you know we talk about what, what really good shooters do as far as gravity goes and you know cutting and screening and opening things up for other guys and um, me and Max I feel like we're able to get a few baskets for guys just just by either screening or cutting uh, and you know hand, I handled the ball a lot in college and I don't anticipate that being a huge part of my game but just you know we've been with my coaches individual coaches we've been working on you know what's going to happen when guys start running me off the line and uh, how can I be effective there? So, um, you know, I want to just keep expanding and, you know, focusing on what my strengths are, but being ready for whatever whatever comes my way. Thanks, so. Thank you, guys.